Welcome back to our channel. This is Teacher Debbie again in our Division 101 coding tutorial. So, let's continue our task this week. We are going to solve some puzzle random, randomly in our lesson. So, our weekly task for this week are lesson number, uh, lesson number 13, 14, and 15. So, if, if you go to our lesson okay so we have number 13 here we have the listed loops okay we have our tutorial okay available uh we have our tutorial posted in our channel so let's go to functions so lesson 14 is the introduction so let's see what is inside and plug activity so here, all you need to do is to watch the video, click play, this is the songwriting lesson. Music is a lot like a computer program. The written notes and words tell the singer exactly what to do. Some parts of music are used over and over again. We call this the chorus. In a computer program, the parts of the program that are used over and over again are called functions. When you read song lyrics and it says the word chorus, do you sing the word chorus? No, you look at the top of the page to see what words make up the chorus. So in this lesson, you'll learn a silly little song called Little Bunny Foo Foo. The song has a chorus that you will sing several times over and over again. A function is a piece of code that you can call or use over and over again. It makes programming easier and more efficient, so you don't have to write out the steps of your function over and over again. You can just write it once. Okay, so our coding is compared to, it's compared to a song, like a songwriting, that the chorus is uh, seen repeatedly. So in our coding also, we use that one as a function. So let's continue. After you watch the video, click continue. And then it will go to the next lesson, lesson number 15. Okay. So click lesson number 15. Okay. Teacher Debbie this time will solve uh, three puzzle. Okay. Puzzle number, puzzle number two, number six, and number 11 okay and the rest you will do it by yourself okay so let's let's start so you have to choose your character okay maybe i will choose steve here select okay and i will jump i will leave it to you and i will jump to number two okay i will go to number two so in the instruction it says here that steve is headed on an adventure to help get the map behind the lock door on the right snap the code into the workspace to move the agent to the pressure plate so that Steve can get through so if you can see this is now Steve right and you need this one you need to go here so that this one, this door will be open and Steve can get the map. How can we do that one? Very simple. So you just count the number of blanks. One, two. So you need to move forward two times. One, two. Okay. After that, click run. And the door is open. Now this time, you use your cursor. Go into the right and then up. Steve got the map. Okay, so that's it. So congratulations, you're done with puzzle number two. Now, teacher Debbie will jump to puzzle number. I will leave it to you three, four, and five. 
Okay. Don't forget to watch the video behind. So I will go to this uh, puzzle number six. Okay. So in puzzle number six, it says here, Oh no, the bridge is out. Code the agent to rebuild the bridge using place black so that Steve can get to the Shoville. So Shoville is here. So you need to get up one. So how can we do that? Okay. So here, very simple. You just count the number of blocks. The blocks one, two, three. So all you need to do is to use your loop. How many times? Correct. That is three. And you need to move forward and place the old blocks. Let's try. Run two three okay and this time you can now move to get the yes that's correct that's it okay good we complete the six passes so i will leave it to you seven eight nine and ten i will do number eleven so number eleven is here okay Okay, number 12, you will do it by yourself. This number 12 is only a free play. So you will do your own. So this time, this is now what we call function. So we have two function. If you can see, we have two function. Number one is build a long bridge. Repeat five times. Do move forward and please knit the rock. Okay. Then we have also built a short bridge, repeat two times, and do forward place knit the rack. You understand? So we have two functions. Number one is long bridge and short bridge. So if we use this one, we need to say this is our function. If we use the long bridge, this is our function. And if we use our short bridge, this is also our function you understand okay let's do it so turn right you are here now right so turn right move forward and then turn left and build short bridge and after that build a long bridge let's start turn right after you turn right move forward and then turn left after you turn left you need to build a short bridge after the short bridge you need to build the long bridge okay so let's try let's run okay then that's the time you need to move forward the chanted so that is how to solve puzzle number 11 okay so i'm hoping that you enjoy our puzzle this time so for those who need our coding please don't forget to subscribe our channel this is teacher debbie in baby june 101 coding tutorial okay till next time god bless and